Hi, I'm Laura and this is Toby and we are here at Cats Protection in Hazelmere. Today I've got a story for you. It's called Night Night Spots. I hope you enjoy the story. It was getting late. Spot had finished his, summer, his supper. Now he was busy playing with his train, his blocks and his ball. Sally looked on. Time for bed, Spot, she said. But Mum, said Spot, I'm not sleepy. You can put away your toys, said Sally. That will help make you sleepy. All right, Mum, said Spot. He put away his train, his blocks and his ball. I'm still not sleepy, said Spot. A nice warm bath will help, said Sam, Spot's dad. He filled the bath with lovely warm bubbles for Spot. Spot stayed in the bath a long time, playing with his boat and his duck. But when it was time to come out, Spot still wasn't sleepy, not even when Sam wrapped him in a big fluffy towel. I'll read you a story, said Sally. That will send you off to sleep. Sally read Spot his favourite story. It was all about pirates and their adventures on the high seas. Read it again, please, said Spot, when she had finished. So Sally read the story again. Thanks, Mum, said Spot. Maybe I can go to sleep now. Just close your eyes and you'll soon drift off into dreamland, said Sally. Spot closed his eyes and Sally kissed him goodnight. Then she tiptoed out of the room. But Spot still wasn't sleepy. I can't stay in bed when I'm not sleepy, he said to himself. I'll get up and pretend to be a pirate, like the ones in my storybook. Spot went to his toy chest. He got out an eye patch, a bandana and a wooden sword. Yo ho ho, he said, jumping up and down. I'm the pirate king of the high seas. After a while, Spot got tired of being a pirate, but he still wasn't sleepy. I'll pretend to be something else now, he said, looking at his toy chest. What will I be? I'll be a cowboy, Spot decided. He put on his cowboy hat and found his horse. Spot rode his horse all round the room. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm a buckaroo, he shouted. This is so much fun. It's a good thing I'm not sleepy. Sally came to the door. You're supposed to be asleep, she called. What's all this noise about? But Spot didn't answer. That's because Spot didn't hear her. He was curled up in his cowboy costume, fast asleep. Sally picked up Spot and took off his costume and tucked him into bed. I think I was sleepy after all, Mum, he murmured. I think you were, said Sally, smiling. She gave Spot a hug and another goodnight kiss. Sweet dreams, Spot. Night night. And that's the end of today's story. I hope you're feeling a bit more sleepy than Spot was. Hope you're feeling more like he was at the end of the book. I've got my next book ready and I look forward to bringing it to you soon. Bye for now.